So I just recently asked you guys on my YouTube stories which fragrance you wanted to see a first impressions of first. And I was giving you these two choices, Armoff Club de Nuit Siage and the new Ferragamo Intense Leather. And really it was pretty close. There's a good mixture of both, but Siage did win. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you my first impressions on this one. I've had this one sitting around for a while now. I've just been holding off on doing a video. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find this one at any of the main discount websites. So FragranceNet, FragranceX doesn't seem to have this one yet. However, I have found it on eBay by the seller One Perfumes. They have great feedback. And I've bought quite a few fragrances from eBay from some of these top sellers. And I've actually bought from this seller many times before. I will just leave a direct link down below so it takes you to this listing. They do have it for $54, which is the cheapest that I can find this one online currently. Again, the seller 100% legit. I bought with them many times. You do have to be careful when buying on eBay, but if you stick to big sellers like this one, you'll be okay. And really there aren't too many other options until some of the main discounters get this one in stock. So if you wanna grab a bottle for yourself, that link will be down below. So from what information I know about this one so far is it is a Silver Mountain Water clone. So we have another Creed clone done by Armoff following in the same Club de Nuit line. So I'm curious about this one. I just recently checked out Milestone and that was a pretty solid Millicene Imperial clone. Let's go ahead and see what this one's about. And I always like this. If you couldn't already tell that it was going to be a Creed clone, they pretty much completely rip off Creed with this little information card. And it gets the job done, I guess. So pulling the bottle out of the box, uh, this one's quite eccentric. It's very shiny, very reflective, definitely going to be one that attracts a bunch of scratches. In fact, the back of the bottle already has a bunch of scratches, as you can see right here. Um, you can see it's a pretty deep gouge, quite a bit of smudging, micro scratches on the finish, and it's going to be a fingerprint magnet as well. I really don't care at all. This is a pretty cheap fragrance. If this was a niche fragrance, I might be a little bit bothered by the scratching portion, but I really don't care. I'm just bringing that to your attention because this is a very bright finish, and when it does end up getting scratched up, because that is going to happen unless you baby this bottle, it's going to show it pretty well. But it's your usual Club de Nuit presentation. You have the diamond studs in the cap and the little uh, medallion on the front, which is glued down, but if it does come off, there's a little chain there as well. Yeah, uh, it's a presentation you're probably very familiar with. Not too bad. Bottle does have quite a bit of a heft to it, and these are 105 ml bottles. Not really sure why they don't just go with 100s, but hey, you get five extra mils, so it's pretty cool. You've got your sticker and batch information on the bottom. Pretty standard stuff. Let's not waste any more time with the bottle. Let's go ahead and jump right into the scent. So first time spraying this one on here, black atomizer, looks nice. And it already came primed, so let's hit it with a couple sprays. Pretty good atomizer. Again, about to expect from these bottles. Right off the bat, it does smell very similar to Silver Mountain Water. It does nail that inky type of smell spot on. You get that bergamot, you get that black currant. You just get that inkiness, kind of a green cooling tea type of smell. Smells fantastic, very refreshing, very bright. So the cooling smell that you get from this one is gonna be coming from the violet leaf and not from tea. There's actually no tea listed as a note in this fragrance, but they will use uh, violet leaf to kind of give that same impression. A good example of that is, of course, there's Gucci Porome 2, which is the blue colored fragrance now discontinued. It's a tea fragrance. And there's an alternative to that one, a cheaper alternative called Hany Mori Him, EDT and EDP. That fragrance smells very close to the Gucci. It doesn't use tea, but it does use violet leaf. So that's a pretty common kind of alternative there. And it does come across very nicely. That black currant violet leaf mixture does give you the impression of tea and just that overall very cooling smell that you get from Silver Mountain Water. It's all about citrus, musk, and to be honest with you, Silver Mountain Water is one of my personal favorites. It's just such a cooling, refreshing scent, great for the springtime, one to calm you down, put you in a nice, relaxed mood. 
and this one nails it pretty darn close. Now, one of my main problems with the Club de Nuit fragrances from Armoff has been the opening. Of course, you guys all know about Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is the Aventus clone. It gets a lot of hype, a lot of people love it. The main issue is the opening, it's a bit harsh. When I checked out Milestone, which is another newer release and is a clone of Millicent Imperial, I found that the opening of that one was a little bit off as well. I didn't like the opening. However, with this one, right here off the first spray, and this is on paper, I don't get anything that's wonky about this one. I mean, it nails it right off the bat, so I'm very impressed here. They've definitely upped their game and really improved their quality here with this one. So I will go ahead and read off the note breakdown on this one. Up top, we have bergamot, black currant, lemon, violet leaf, lime, and ginger. In the mid, we have iris, jasmine, and rose, so a floral mid. And in the base, we have ambroxan, musk, cedarwood, and sandalwood. So not picking up on any of the florals yet, but I am getting, obviously, a lot of that musk, uh, a lot of that black currant, and of course, a lot of that violet leaf and citrus. Same thing here on skin. Opens up very vibrant, very fresh, very invigorating, very cooling. It really does do a good job of nailing that Silver Mountain Water DNA. Now on skin, it does come across a little bit different, maybe a little bit sweeter than Silver Mountain Water, but it still does nail that really well and does give you that Silver Mountain Water vibe. Like I said, I see this one as being one of the better alternatives for Creed from Armaf. You know, just what they've done so far in the past. They are a clone house. And I have to say, I have to give them props on this one. They did an excellent job here. There are some cheaper Creed Silver Mountain Water clones out there, but quality is always going to lack. And while this one doesn't touch the quality of the Creed itself, it's getting up there to the point where it's recommendable. I would say if you want a solid Silver Mountain Water alternative without having to spend too much money, again, you can get it for about $50 from that eBay seller right now. But over time, this one will creep down. Once it hits the big discounters, you can probably get it for even less than that in which case it'll be a great buy. Even at $50, I think this one is a solid buy as well. Really well done. Of course, performance is going to have to be tested, and I will come back with a full review on this one at some point, but I have to say, right off the bat, very impressed. I'm glad I picked this one up. I'm glad you guys wanted to see this one, and I think a lot of you guys will be really impressed. So that's going to do it for me, guys. That's my first impressions on Club de Nuit Siage. Let me know if you've tried this one, what you think of it down below, and how does it compare to the other Armoff clones? You know, is uh, CDNIM still your favorite? That Aventus-inspired scent is Milestone your favorite, you know, as it is the Milseum Imperial clone, or do you really like this one? I really think this is going to be the best offering that I've smelled so far, just in terms of putting everything together from quality um, to also how close it represents the scent as well. This stuff here, I have to say, it surprised me, but it is really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.